hey everyone welcome back to engineers tech hub channel so in this session guys we will discuss adp interview question for automation test engineer two to eight years of experience and this is the latest question which is said by someone okay so first of all uh, if you are a manual tester or if you are planning to switch a job in automation or you are attending the interview right you already know the syllabus in the current market what's the topic and what's the is library you have to learn okay so before uh, attending the interview prepare well otherwise uh, definitely rejection will come to you okay so if you are a manual tester or if you are an automation test engineer so if you are attending the interview in automation profile so first priority is to work on your coding a skill set right so now these days uh, they are looking for you having a very good coding knowledge so if you will go for some of the interview they will directly start from the programming okay so if you are attending the interview from java with selenium python with selenium java script with so whatever the language you have so concept is fine then you have to work on your programming a skill set there is no shortcut to improve the coding a skill you know you have to do the daily practice okay so if you are able to write the code in the interview and definitely they will select you apart from that you can do the practice so now programming a skill is must second is your selenium selenium web driver you have a very good knowledge of selenium web driver with your framework apart from that you have a cucumber framework then uh, they are also expecting to have a knowledge and experience in api testing so you can have a knowledge in postman and rest assured library git and jenkins so this is the minimum a skill set is required in the market then only your profile will be selected okay so that is the uh, you know just i want to share this question might be if you will get the call from the adp might be they will not ask the same question but here you will get take your interview are you able to uh, give this answer or not understood right so when i'm going to share this question so how this will helpful for you just take this end of the video i will tell you how to get this pdf as well i have already uploaded many uh question already for the top level of the mnc company in the last of the video i will guide you guys for the playlist then uh, how to get this pdf notes okay free and all okay so don't worry about that then just we'll say that and take your interview are you able to give this answer or not tell me about yourself so i already made the video on the what you have to speak and tell me about yourself so mainly uh, you have to tell your experience your primary skill set your secondary skill set if you have your relevant experience like you have a total uh, 10 year of experience in software testing profile right then uh, you have to divide your experience as per your comfortable how you are in automation manual testing api testing database testing so how much experience do you have in this area right so these are all the things you can highlight in your then you can just give the brief introduction of your roles and responsibility if they will ask you the cross question can you explain your project then you can go to that but your tell me about yourself is crisp and clear experience a skill set and your roles and responsibility this is point you have to highlight over there can you explain your current application right so you are working on see they have already asked can you explain your current application so in which application you are working are you working on banking domain are you working on e-commerce domain or healthcare domain so you have a very good knowledge on your application I know that uh, what you are working it's not a like remember always so keep do the preparation like uh, I have a 20 test cases at least ready and 10 test cases we have a into inflow so I can explain to the interviewer got it so next move what are the OOP concept in the Java so if you are still not confident in the Java right so I will tell you guys few courses and it will help you the 100% to improve your Java skill set. Okay, so OOP concept like Java is object oriented programming language. In Java, 
in my uh, youtube channel you will get the java series as well okay so you can go through that we have a paid course as well so as your wish but i will recommend you can go for the paid course i have discussed many things inside this paid course okay so up concept inheritance polymorphism right uh encapsulation right abstraction is your uh object modeling principle right so you have to explain in the depth okay understood right write any test case features file and what the other files there in cucumber so they are also looking for cucumber frameworks you have a very good knowledge how to write the features file others file like we have a step definition file we have a test runner file got it right so here they are also going to ask the question from the cucumber don't do the preparation to crack the interview you have to do the preparation for after cracking the interview you are able to survive in the company as well so this all the things you have to do preparation like this okay what is the tag in cucumber right so when we are also defining the tag inside this feature square right like you have to run your regression you have to run your smoke so we can define it over there right so better you can explore the tag concept why do huge automation testing this is if you are an automation test engineer you should know why we do that right the, what is the profit so automation testing right so when we have a regression when you are doing the regression manually it is you can see how much time it is going to consume over there right we need more resources and all right but if you have a automation shoot where we can catch the bug right so your automation shoot will be you know then again while writing the script that is very important how your script is going to find the bug understood right so in regression cycle right it will save a lot of time and the automation will make our life easy okay so keep learning keep improving there is no shortcut you know you have to learn programming and you have to improve your automation a skill right what are the types of the test cases do we automate right functional regression right sanity so how we are going to you know uh, i can say you not know, defining your test cases right so i could see the tools application it totally depend upon right so sometimes we don't have a web application we have a different types of the application so many tools are coming in the market in ai right so ai tools are there like they are only compare the image and they're finding the defect and all right so many tools in the market according to your application we can decide explain keyword in cucumber so we have a many keywords inside this cucumber right so just uh, i told you right learn complete syllabus so this all the question you are able to give the answer yeah few of the question we have a scenario based which is not already faced even you are working in the real time as well so this thing will happen okay so no worries how many types of locators in selenium so i don't want to explain this silly means this easy type of the question so you have to know if you don't know this type of the question then stop to start your stop your interview and prepare well okay so you, you know the locators in selenium you know difference between like css and xpath right all the answer i already discussed in my previous video guys i will tell you the pdf we have already made from there you will get it or you can prepare well okay can you ex can you write the syntax of xpath and css selector okay then what are the challenges you have faced in the selenium so we have made the separate video for uh, challenges in the selenium uh, okay so next to move in the another question what are a static in java so we have a uh, two types of the member in java static and non static member why we use the static member okay so static means uh, jvm will provide the common memory for the static member so if it is a common for others you know to use this right we can use the static a static means you should not create an object so you can access by using the class or you can access directly so many things are there if you will learn in the java then you can write a program to sort an array in ascending order so again they have asked one code to write a code to sort an array in 
ascending order. Write a Selenium script to login using the POM. So these are just given some hands on like how you are writing the code, right? So interviewer is very smart when you are writing the code, you have to follow some coding standard and you have to follow some naming convention, right? You cannot write. I know that this is the interview, but if you will write the code in the proper way and definitely this is the, your positive impact. Okay, so that's it in this, I think 15 question they have asked. Okay, so now guys, so I'll tell you. Um, so when you will go in my channel, so here we have a few playlist which is important for you. So if you want to, uh, you can see uh, this, like tell me about yourself challenges in your project and also in this playlist you will get all the answer. I told you right, I already made the video on that. This common question like what is your roles and responsibility? Then uh, I can say how to explain your project challenges in automation testing project. Right, so this common question like answer you will get here. Apart from that, if you will go um, in this playlist, uh, I think all the disc in, in description, all the link you will get it in video description. So you should not worry, but just I'm going to tell you here, right? So already I have shared many question, many interview question for top level of the MNC company. You will get the previous year question as well. Okay, so you can just check take your interview are you able to uh, give that answer or not go to this portal uh, this portal is like Mohit Tech Hub okay this is my website where you will get online courses so we will go in the courses section right so you can see we have an interview question for automation test engineer so here you will get the PDF guys okay so all the PDF you will get with answer so just you can go and you can uh, enroll this get free courses click on this and you can sign in and you are able to get it you can see all the pdf you will get here okay and the whatever the common question is there i already made the answer as well so this will helpful for your revision so every time you cannot watch this video right if you want to improve your java skill set so you can go in this course so price is like very low okay and you will get very good content here so here we have a slavers here if you will go here and you can watch here some uh you know uh, some demo video also okay so you can just click on this you can watch this demo video if you feel like this is your uh helpful for you and definitely you can enroll this so the price is only six six seven nine nine okay understood right or if you want to learn your java selenium in the depth so you can go through this so now the price is saying like 3000 but i will give you the coupon code like uh, it will be a 1500 or something okay so you will also get here free video like demo video if you want you can watch here okay and if you feel this is comfort like this is profitable for you then you can buy this course as well okay so as your wish i don't force to anyone to buy my courses but yeah if you will go through these courses and definitely will learn many things okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe uh my channel and press bell icon then definitely will get many more video in the coming days so in the next video bye bye